Hello, good afternoon. It is 12 o'clock. I have just come down to pound stretcher because hopefully me and Matt are gonna start, I say me and Matt. Well, he has to, because it's all his stuff. Me and Matt are gonna sort out the shed. Um, hopefully get rid of a lot of stuff, if not organize some stuff. So I've come to pound stretcher to hopefully get some um, hooks that I can put on the inside of the shed to hang stuff up, to clear a bit of floor space, stuff like that. Um, so there's pound stretch here, there's B&M here. There's also Matalan here, so I might have a little look in Matalan. Um, I just, when I came to come here, when I was on the, like on my street, I was sat in my car and I got a text, so I read that and then I was texting back. And um, I was parked in between two cars. And then my neighbour, like one of my neighbours came out who I've never seen before. And I've actually always wondered who lived in that house. Well, now I've seen him. Um, he came out and he thought I was like struggling to get out. He's like, oh, I'll move my car for you so you can get out. He must have thought I was just like sat there because I couldn't get out. And it's really like, like obviously he's been dead nice. And I was like, oh, thank you. But actually it's really got on my nerves now because I'm like, I'm a perfectly competent driver. I got, I parallel parked into that space. I can easily get out if I can get into it. I'm actually a very good parker. I'm a good driver and a good parker, despite what my sister says. Don't listen to her. <laughs> so, I don't know why that has wound me up so much. Um, right, anyway, car's just pulled up next to me, so I'm gonna go. This was actually the bed that Matthew's got, and look, it's 40 pounds, and I would highly recommend it. And he's had it for years, it's lasted for ages. I just got it as a, a stopper, really, to, um, while I could afford it. A different one but actually it's been fine i'm back it's 10 past one that was quite nice actually it had kind of an air of normality about it in the shops so it's quite nice um in matalan you had to queue to go in i didn't go in being on because the queue was massive but um matalan you had to queue and there's the lady at the door like ticking off i guess how many people are going in there now um obviously the changing rooms and stuff are closed but yeah it's quite nice to have a wander I've had my hand gel with me because although it felt normal you've still got to be very aware haven't you anyway I thought I'd show you what I got so went to pound stretch first as I told you I was looking for um hooks like strong command hooks because it's plastic shed so I can't really use anything other than the like sticky hooks um, and we've got some in there that have lasted a long time and we hang his bike helmets from them and they're sturdy and everything but pound stretcher didn't have the actual command ones we've got these like i guess their version they are cheap they're only 90p so i hope they work i hope they do um because command ones are quite expensive they do do the job very well but they are expensive that's a big difference in price 90p to like the command ones so the big ones are like four pounds or something so it's a big big jumps so hopefully they're okay we'll see so i got them two they hold up to 1.5 kilograms and then i got two also 90p of these big ones and um, that hold up to two kilograms what i would like to do but i'll have to see if i can find something oh what did i do my old mop there that's what i could use i wouldn't it i think it'd be quite a good idea to put one at each end and then a bar in between and I've just remembered I still have this, so that might be a good thing. Hook that up and then put some hooks over. Oh, my. Hang on. Sorry, my tripod failed. So that might be an idea. We shall see. We'll see. And then um, these are on sale for 69p over the door hook. So again, I thought that could go on the back of the shed door to hang stuff if it's not too heavy or stuff. Because obviously, otherwise, it'll pull the door down. It won't shut properly. If not, they'll probably get used for other things. Could use that over Matt's door, actually. Put his dressing gowns or something on. But um, 69p. Um, so that was that. That's what I really went for. Um, got some mockers and then got some gloves still haven't found our box of gloves they are here somewhere and then i got two packets of plasters because the other day um ran out of plasters and always just handy to have in isn't it so i got two packets of them uh packet of tablets last night oh my god my headache turned into a migraine it was the worst migraine i've had in a long time i felt oh god i was so I couldn't sleep because the pain was so bad. I was on the verge of throwing up. And I didn't have any tablets, so got them. Um, some uh, AAA batteries for 
the lights in the shed and we have them lights that turn on automatically when you walk in they're really good really bright and um, but they've run out of batteries so i've got them and then matt asked me to get in some shower gel that was that then uh oh and kitchen roll but i forgot toilet roll which is much more important than kitchen roll i can't believe i've done that and then a nip to morrison's and got some milk and then that asked me to pick up some coke so that was that and then i went to matalan um obviously couldn't try on so i don't know if they're any good um but i might go and do a little try on haul i'll show you um what i won't try on though because nobody wants to see that but there was some underwear in the sale and i needed some new underwear so i got this bra this is like a leopard print bra that was six pounds matching knickers they were three pound fifty and then this black bra like lacy-ish again six pounds and then some knickers for £2.50 and I'll show you the rest in the bathroom. First thing, um, like I said I couldn't try on so I had no idea if it's any good. This was half price, this was £9 and it's a jumpsuit, um, like a long sleeved um, wide leg jumpsuit. So we shall see how that one is. And here is the play suit on. Um, so that's the dog. Yes, hello. Don't panic, I'm still here. Um, yeah, so I got this, um, well, everything I've been buying recently is for work in mind. So I quite like this because it's nice and covered. Should still be quite cool. Um, yeah, what what do you reckon? And these are my new fit flop shoes that I got for work as well. So um, hopefully you can see that okay. I don't know. Should I tip it down a teensy bit more? But there we go. So now tell me what you think. And then I got this um, Bardo top. This is in a 10. They didn't have a 12 so hopefully that's okay like I say I um, seem to be between a 10 and a 12 these days so it might be okay I don't know and then a matching skirt so it's like a co-ord so um and I got that one in a 12 so let's have a try on and here is the co-ord so I've put a belt on because I've had to fold um fold the skirt over because it's a bit long on me and it it means you can see the label, but maybe if I cut the label out of it, but yeah, I just put a belt around it to see how that looks. What do you reckon? I've never like worn anything really like this before. Is it a little bit, bit house on the prairie? Um, not that there's anything wrong with that style, but does it suit me? I don't know. What do you reckon? So there we go. So hopefully now, as long as I like everything, um, which I'll kind of decide, I think, when I watch this back, um, as long as I like everything, then hopefully now I've got enough outfits for work, I think. All right, well, Matt's just gone out. Um, he says he's taking that bike that's in the kitchen back to his mates. That's his mates' bike that Matt had, um, borrowed to, like, fix up, but basically couldn't so that's going back to his mate's house which is good not now it hasn't gone now he says he's coming back in a bit to take it because his mate's at work we'll see we'll see <laughs> um right anyway so i think i'll take the doggy actually i might have a coffee i think i'll have a coffee first and then i'll take the dog out um the time is now quarter to two this thing is driving me insane it keeps falling down so this is i've just been talking about how good command hooks are but this has been up with command hooks and it has been for a long time but this side keeps falling down and i've used new sticky pads it keeps falling down um so i need to i might use one of these these come with spare sticky pads do they oh no they don't oh, i don't know anyway i'll try and sort that out um what else was gonna say I said something. Oh, Matthew's tutor has emailed back. Um, 
and he's, he's he sounds like a reasonable man to be fair he just said um what's the problem what do you need help with and then he said at the end like don't worry about it too much um which is promising isn't it i think you know that i guess that's his way of saying like well exactly that don't worry too much um so that's good but like i say really he needs a sit down one-to-one -one, you know it's no good over email not for somebody like matthew who is a, a visual learner and um i don't know anyway maybe matt can try and express to him what it is that he can't do and hopefully he can it's only two little questions um i don't know where the questions are now but it's not much but he just needs to sit down and properly talk to him right anyway i'm gonna have a coffee Here we go. You can go in there. It's raining and it's gone cold. It was warm before. It's gone cold now. She just bloody loves to look over a wall. It's her favourite pastime. Well, it is quarter past seven. Oh, excuse the mascara all down my all around my eyes. Not done a very good job of removing that, have I? Just had a bath. It was very nice, had a face mask, did a hair, well, not a hair mask exactly, but put a load of conditioner in my hair and left it for ages. Um, feeling good. Um, there is still a bike in my kitchen. Um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, watch a bit of 90 Day Fiance now, I think. No one will ever find it there. Good hiding place. That's it, cover it with the cushion. There we go. It's the wrong place it's covered, but almost. Almost. Well, oh, not quite. Do you want me to just do it for you, or...? I'll just do it for you. I'll do it. I'll do it. There you go. Done. Perfect. Well done. Oh, good job. There we go.